Howdy y'all. Happy Thursday. That's a different one. Usually it's happy Saturday or happy Monday. Sometimes happy Wednesday. Today's happy Thursday. Today we are going to show you the best way, in my opinion, of all time to prime a concrete pump. 100% success rate. Well, 99.7% success rate. This is the way we do it all the time. What's going on, buddy? Scott. You're wrecking my video right now. <laughs> okay, so step one, remove the prime port cap if you are so blessed with a prime port. In this case, we are. You can also do this mixing the stuff in the hopper, but if you got a prime port, it is the best way to do it. We're gonna take about uh, two measuring cups of bentonite powder from our, uh, our bucket here, our little pail. One, two, two meat hooks full, two and a half, precise measurement. Now we're gonna mix it up, just agitating it with cold water. Fun fact, if you have access to warm water, say from a ready mix truck you can actually get away with using less powder let's move this out of the way and you'll get a, uh, a better yield and it actually mixes faster with the warm water but uh, our mixer's not here yet so we'll make do with what we got ultimately what we want to get here is a five gallon pail full of bentonite at a pancake batter type consistency so what we're going to do with this stuff because we're mixing it with the cold water and as it sits it's going to thicken up um, we will mix it up close to what we think we need and then when the ready mix truck is within sight uh, we'll mix it up a little bit fatter and uh, get it exactly where we want fine tune it dial it right in that's the plan so so for now we'll just keep mixing away i think Sid just went to grab a shovel stick mixing implement of sorts We'll just work this around. Insert elevator music here. And I'll actually get this about three quarters full and I'll leave room to add some more water when the truck gets here. There we go. See, if you look at that right now, it is a little bit on the thin side. That's okay though, we're gonna let that sit when the mixer gets here. We'll have another look at that. You watch it'll thicken right up. We'll probably have to add a little bit more water to it. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do, if Sid wants to grab his remote control, which is sitting up on the driver's side of the pump. How about I hand it to him? How about that? I'll throw him the remote, take a few strokes in forward full volume. Even though I'm using bentonite here, I still like to pre-moisten my barrels a little bit. A good habit just in case there's any kind of gravel or uh, a little bit of schmeg sitting in there from uh, the last time the pump was out. Well, that's loud. Good enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do here while we're waiting around, we're actually gonna prime this thing through in a Z. Um, the beauty of bentonite is you can prime through any way your little heart desires. Uh, it pretty much uh, idiot proofs the whole process. We'll try and prove you wrong, but even we will have a tough time in doing so. Um, so we're going to prime through in a Z. The reason why I'm going to do that, when we get started here, we're going to stretch out up onto the deck. If I prime through in an A-frame, concrete goes up, concrete dribbles back down, shut the pump off, inevitably I end up with a little bit of concrete in that last taper and elbow, and two or three empty boom sections. You stretch the boom out, start pumping, you have a large air void between that little bit of concrete and the sections that are filled with concrete. That air pressurizes. If you were to happen to get a little bit of segregation with the stuff sitting in the elbows, whammo, big air pocket. Uh, one way to avoid that is if you want to recirculate over your hopper when you get started in said A-frame position, circulate a, a recirculate at a speed such that uh, you can get all that air out of the pipes, get a nice steady flow of concrete, whatever. But uh, I do the Z, because you get up, down, up, down, all I'm going to end up with is possibly a small air void in the very last section of that boom. But my other four sections I know are full of concrete, way less air to pressurize, way less potential for issues. It still is ideal to start in close to the pump when you start pouring, but if they want us to stretch all the way out, we've got that boom about 85% full of concrete. Really mitigates the uh, the chances of any mishaps. So I know the success rate priming through in a Z if you're using water or other methods 
is probably not quite as high as doing it in an A-frame, especially on a big boom like this. But because we're using bentonite, like I said, you can do pretty much whatever you want, at least with the mixes in our area you can. I'm not going to speak to other areas that use more coarse aggregates and whatnot, but uh, I'll show you. In our area, this stuff is going to bomb right through with the bentonite. This is 100% the best way to prime. Fail safe. Guaranteed success almost every time. Okay, it's been about seven minutes, bentonite check. And that has thickened up a lot. We'll top that up with a bit more water. A little splash here. Give me a nice stream. Just, just beam, it, yeah, beam it in there, there we go. Perfect. Excellente. I would call that pancake batter. Okay, bent night in, here we go. Perfect. Important note, once you've got your bent night in, no stroking of the pump until the hopper's full of concrete. Otherwise, when that tube shifts over, your bent night's gonna spill back into the hopper. So once you got your goo in there, leave it alone until you got concrete. So we're going to throw the cap on here. One thing to watch with these caps is these, uh, these coarse threads, they don't last very long. And they always seem to strip out at the most inopportune of times. Um, I almost wish they used a fine thread for that or a hardened thread or some, something better. They really just don't last. So it's always worth uh, keeping an extra clamp on the pump because that thing strips out and uh, you're kind of uh, kind of ski rude until you figure out another solution, so. Tap this on, we'll throw some mud in. We're gonna prime out right in front of the pump here. Piece of cake, it'll be great, I promise. Don't leave me yet. Well, Sid gets all tarped up here and we got a ready mix style then. Check out this setup, this was a bit of a treat. Pro stack of lacking. I uh, I almost wish we had brought another layer of blocks. That's my one uh, minor complaint about this 56 meter pump. It's very limited for travel on the outriggers on the down legs. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it makes it extra super handy having these blocks for setting up on slopes and whatnot. But we got her in. Previously, our biggest pump in here was the 47 which was a lot easier setup. But now that we got this one in here, we'll throw some paint marks down, probably leave the dunnage on site in place. And when we come back for the next eight, nine, 10 pours here, just roll right in and bang, 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 away we go. But yeah, we're just gonna prime this stuff out just on the bank here. As you can see, we've done that before several times, prime out, pump out, whatever, so. Put the four inch whip hose on. We should have enough reach to get the whole deck. It'll be a little bit uh, finicky trying to get around the crane there on either side of the crane, but uh, we'll make it work. We most of the time always sort of do. All right, here we go, show time. Uh, this mix is a uh, 48 hour mix with accelerator in it. So it's gonna be uh, hot as shit and look like glue probably. Those add strength. Yeah. Structural dry balls. Oh, they give her. This Ugh. is what they pay you to do. Hey, who gets paid? <laughs> okay, so priming through one stroke every five to seven seconds. Probably about a three on the dial on this thing. Maybe a little less because this thing's got the 10 inch barrels. And like I always do, 
few strokes in, I'll throw my hand over the end of the hose, make sure there's air coming out, which there is, I can feel that. Just so that we know there's no blockages or uh, leftover sponges in the boom. You know, that never happens. And you can hear her coming up and she's going to drop down into that fourth section any second now. This stuff is so fatty, you might not hear a lot of tinkling in the pipes. And we'll take a good amount out. Get all that bentonite out, make sure we got no contamination in the slab. Just like that, we are primed out. So we'll come jump up onto the deck here now and uh, do a little pumpa pumpa pumpa. All right, so pretty much exactly as I talked about, they want to start the boom pretty much flat out. So we're going to dribble a little bit out here with a little bit of a uh, slope on that tip section, just get a bit of concrete moving, and then we'll go flat, flat with it. I still don't like pouring or starting the pour with the boom completely flat out. So get a little bit through here, and then we go right to the corner. And it's close enough to where they're pouring, they're not going to get a big hard spot when they get back to this point here, so. There we go, we got flow, and now they can stretch out and do whatever the heck they want. All right, so we are rock and rolling. This setup actually worked out perfectly, so. Super happy with this one. It's one of those ones where I think we're gonna leave our uh, cribbing blocks down there on site and in place for the next pour. We uh, put a lot of sweat equity into that setup there, so. Oh, and just like that, the first truck is empty. All right, this little tester footage. I got myself the uh, iPhone 14 Pro for Christmas. I'm actually scared to have it on site here. It's too precious. Let's see what the video quality is like. Beautiful Burnaby, British Columbia in the background. You splash me, man. What is? What is that? Oh, I gotta get away. <laughs> you're just flexing because you're gonna be on YouTube doing one of, one of these. That's the pose right there. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, here we are, back down at ground zero. A couple loads in. All is looking good. Like a pro stack blocks are holding strong and firm. I actually wish we brought uh, maybe one more layer of blocks here to get this front corner up a little bit higher. We're still within three degrees, but it uh, could be a, a touch better. But uh, yeah, I know this is actually a pretty good setup all in all. <sighs> little bit of digging, a little bit of leveling involved. No big whoop. Anyhow. That'll be it for today. My little bucket of bent night here. So this stuff, before I go, I usually buy it in a, I believe it's a 50 pound sack. Probably fill this, this bucket five times over. This bucket is probably about 10 primes. So 50 primes per bag. 
we pay about $15 per bag. Do the math. Pennies per prime. Uh, we get the stuff from a local drilling supply store. That's normally, uh, I believe, who retails powdered bentonite. High yield powdered bentonite is the name it goes by. As I said, 100%, in my opinion, the best way to prime a boom. Best way to prime a line pump, too, actually. Aside from contractor supply grout. But anyhow, that'll be it for today. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Over and out. Till next time.